I'm Guy McLean. Uh, I'm the director here at the Westville Athenaeum, and we're here at the History Display today to talk about some interesting artifacts that reflect uh, the history of Westville manufacturing. And it's a very, you know, sometimes these, um, these companies go through a variety of historical changes, and this was the case with many Westfield companies. And I want to talk today about a company that's pretty well known for their bicycles, Columbia Bicycles. Uh, but they didn't start as Columbia Bicycle. It was start, the company was originally started by Albert Pope. Uh, it was called the Pope Manufacturing Company. It actually started in Boston. Uh, they moved a lot of their operations to Hartford. He, he was involved with a lot of different kinds of, kinds of manufacturing, uh, sewing machines, other kinds of products. Later on, uh, he got involved with uh, motorcycles and automobiles. Uh, but at first, uh, in, the eight, in the late 1870s, he was very interested in the brand new product of the bicycle. And of course, at that time, bicycles were what was called what were called high wheelers. Uh, the modern day uh, low bicycle was then called a safety bike and didn't come about until a little later. But we have a great example of a Pope or a Columbia bicycle right here on top of our exhibit case uh, here. It's a great example. It was made in the 1880s uh, and gives a really nice example of what uh, Pope Manufacturing Company here in Westfield was doing. Uh, and as the company developed uh, in, in the late uh, 1880s and 1890s, they moved more and more of their operations to Westfield. Uh, and, but they went through a, a variety of changes. They got involved with motorcycles and cars at the in the first decade of the 20th century. Uh, and even though they manufactured some very interesting uh, automobiles, one being an electric automobile, uh, which is very interesting since we're trying to develop electric motor, uh, uh, automobiles today, uh, the company eventually uh, was unsuccessful uh, and went out of business. Uh, Albert Pope himself had to declare bankruptcy in 1907, uh, and then he died just two years later in 1909. But the company continued, and Columbia Bike was a major uh, major manufacturer of bikes, and of course we know them uh, uh, for that product. But as the company evolved and came out of the bankruptcy of 1907 and went through several other organizations, uh, they became a Westfield Manufacturing Company. And they were looking for new products to develop at that time, and one of the products they developed was this incredible uh, golf club, wood, uh, wood golf club. Let me get it out here. Here's an example of a 1920s uh, made Westfield uh, Manufacturing Company golf club. It has a wood shaft, uh, but it actually, but the design is actually very modern, uh, and it must have been a very uh, high quality golf club at that time. Uh, as the company evolved later on, I'll just put this over here, as the company evolved during World War II, uh, 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 the by, by the time uh, uh, the company uh, was involved in World War II production, which is in the 1940s, the, the name had changed from Westville Manufacturing to Columbia Manufacturing, and they made bicycles for the military. But they, in, in addition, actually, the product that they made a lot of other products for the military as well. Uh, Bicycle production was only about 15% of their total World War II manufacturing. They also made a variety of, of ammunition, shells, ver various other kinds of products, bazooka uh, shells, mortar shells, all kinds of things like that. And we have two incredible examples of that right here. Let me just get down here and show you. This was the first design, uh, which had this kind of very pointed uh, uh, design here and uh, was, you know, was launched from uh, the base. But this actually, the rounded version here, came a little later. It was actually considered um, a better design because this rounded top could penetrate uh, its target more successfully and also seemed to be more accurate. Uh, this new design of the, of the base part here um, meant that the trajectory uh, went more, was more uh, successful in terms of its flight. 
uh, uh, there was more uh, the trajectory. This, this other design here, you can see the different base designs here. Uh, this was not as good in terms of accuracy as this design. So this became the more improved version of this. But, they're, they're, uh, it, but it shows you the variety of products made by uh, uh, Co Columbia Manufacturing Company. The company ex still exists today and is now making uh, school furniture. Uh, who would have thought that a company started, a company that started over a hundred years ago making high wheel bicycles would, would later on make golf clubs, uh, more mortar shells, all kinds of other kinds of ammunition uh, products for the military, and then later on uh, manufacture, in addition to bicycles, manufacture furniture products.